welcome back to our channel it's your girl star here and we are outside because of this thing i'm gonna give you some specs on this awesome scooter and how i've been riding it back and forth on campus and how beneficial it actually is to get or own the scooter hey look at my makeup i try new things <laughs> before you get into this video please like share and subscribe we are trying to get 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year which is like super close guys mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some glasses on cuz it's hella bright out here better she's styling she's styling Walmart Target I ended up getting mine from Best Buy which was a pretty good deal at the time so let's get into some specs so this scooter is able to fold down and you can carry it if you are strong enough I would suggest that way it is about 21 22 pounds so it is heavy it has a lock lever so that you can move it from the down position to the up position and it also has a kickstand it scratches pretty easily I was holding something on here and it left these marks but if you use your finger you can make the same marks so I wouldn't worry too much about that it's not supposed to be pretty I also was holding something here and scratch it up pretty well, but yet again, you know. Um, it's on, but you can't see. It goes up to the four battery mark. It has stages one, two, and three. Three gets up to 15 miles per hour. Two gets up to nine. I think four, one gets up to maybe five miles per hour. I could show you that when we start driving the scooter. To the handles which are screwable so you can screw them on or off and I take them off when I'm at the gym at my school so it could fit in the locker easily and then it also has the acceleration which is all black and it has a brake which is all in red because it will stop you hard ease down on the brake if you will because of these big honking wheels it has it is very good for going over bumps and cracks and everything else um, I'd be careful though because some big potholes it could like keep your scooter and some curves uh, also could grab the scooter wheel I don't like that it makes a noise now since I'm always on campus and it's raggedy so now my nice scooter makes weird noises but it's okay. I think you can see it now that it's on when we're in the shade but this is like it being on level one, this is level two, this is level three and this thing will not start for you if you do not kick off the ground first you'll just be standing there looking stupid <laughs> also has this charging port that's like waterproof on the back just make sure you always keep that cover on it and that's pretty easy it doesn't take me any time really to charge it takes me about maybe two to three hours if it's completely dead if it's not maybe an hour or 30 minutes to charge so depending on how much you use it level one which is not that fast. I believe it goes up to five miles per hour. This is level two, which is a little faster, which is nine miles per hour. And this is level three. You see how far I went and how fast it went? That is 15 miles per hour, people, and that's awesome. All right, some cons, I would say. This piece right here gets super hot, so when you fold it down and have to grab it, it sucks. Because I think it's black and it's metal, it tracks like the sun's heat, whatever. This thing gets super hot, so I'd be careful of that. It's kind of big and clunky, so it's kind of hard to remove, like maneuver around kind of things. But 
it's still not that bad. It is roughly 21 pounds, so if you don't have any muscles, do not get this scooter because you will struggle, like we are struggling a little bit. <laughs> um, the brake works pretty fine. You can use the back brake too. I choose just to use this one. It takes a while for it to kick in, so it's not an automatic stop, but it's better anyway, so you can maneuver around people. I use this for school right now, and it's really good because it gets me to my classes on time when I like lose track of time and this is really coming handy. I went to one day of school this year and I didn't have the scooter and I regretted it. All right, it got super hot so now I am hiding in the shade. It is, I believe, the middle of September and it's still 90, 100 degree weather here in Vegas so Jesus Christ help us all. Oh, but thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was informatory to you and yeah, you liked it. <laughs> Hopefully you got all the information you needed from this video to buy a scooter or not to buy a scooter. But this is just not only for school. Like when I go out to California trips, it'll come in handy because you know they have electrical ones you have to pay for. Why pay for one every time you use it? Instead, just pay for yours. It'll be fine. But uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching my channel.